question has arisen about mixing and matching. In other words, if you had a first shot that was J and J, Pfizer's now available, or Moderna may be available as a as a booster shot. Um, should you take that uh, when you can get it? If you started with J and J, do you have any thoughts? Or is there any science on that, Eric? Yeah, there there is quite a bit on that. Uh, it isn't so much on the J and J, but we can impute that from the uh, adenoviral vector of AstraZeneca because they share a lot of features. And what's remarkable, what's remarkable is if you take an adenoviral vector first and then an mRNA, whether that's Moderna or Pfizer as the second dose, you get the best vaccination immune response that's ever been seen, more so than two mRNA shots or more than two AstraZeneca. So um, that would be the best. If you're looking for the most potent immune response, that would be it, especially if you separate eight to 12 weeks between them, because that's another thing is that Pfizer three weeks dose spacing was probably too fast and it didn't allow for as much of a memory uh, and the immune response as we'd like. So that is a real, now, interestingly, we don't really have any data to support the opposite direction. If you had an mRNA vaccine first, Will you benefit from uh, a J and J? No, we don't have any data to support that. It doesn't look nearly as as promising. 